During these difficult times of the coronavirus, social distancing prevents people from expressing their condolences to the family and friends of our dearly departed. The Matinecock Rod and Gun Club wishes to express their condolences to Millie Barwick and the family and friends of Fred Barwick, who recently passed away. Some of these condolences will be expressed as video clips and others as emails that will be read into the video. Ed and Pam Lempensky would like to extend our deepest sympathy to the Barwick family for their great loss. Fred will be greatly missed by the whole Matinecock Club and the Glencoe community. We send our love and sympathy. Thank you. From Dr. Norm Shulman of the Thursday Morning Curmudgeons, my deepest condolences. I admired and respected Fred very much. He will be missed. From William Van Vorst, Fred and I go back a long way as I was the treasurer for the Matinecock Rod and Gun Club when Fred was the president, and we had a lot of laughs over the years. I did get to see and talk to him last summer, so at least I have that. With all that is going on, I probably won't get to see Millie for some time, but please give her my regards if you should see her. Bill. This is from Stephen and Marina Moore. Dear Millie, Marina and I are so sorry for your loss of Fred. I know he will be missed by everyone who knew him. If there is anything you need, no matter what it is, please don't hesitate to call us. Hey, Millie, very sorry about Fred. Uh, I think you all know how much he meant to us. Uh, I want to tell you a funny story. When I was telling Fred about the first time that I met him, I was a kid. He took my beers away and he smashed them on the sidewalk. And I was telling Fred this. He says, I wouldn't have smashed your beers on the sidewalk. We would have taken them back to the station. We would have drank them after the shift. I said, no, you smashed them. He says, wait a minute, what kind of beer was it? I said, Schmitz. He goes, oh, yeah, I smashed them. From Jasper. Millie, this is Jasper. I am so sorry for your loss. Hang in there. This is from Joe and Barbara Dusso and family. Hi, Millie. We were so sorry to hear Fred passed. Joe has a lot of good memories of Fred while working with the Glen Cove Police Department. We send you our prayers that Fred rests in peace and that you are comforted in friends and family. From John and Debbie Dusso. Hi, Millie. I remember Fred when I would visit my dad at the city garage. He was always good to all of us Dusso kids. Later, I joined the club and there was Fred. The same guy I remembered, always happy, helpful, and with a good joke. Fred leaves a memory no one can steal. From Tab and Maureen Hauser, our best to the family. May good memories and time ease the hurt you feel now. I am very sorry at the passing of Fred Barwick. As a retired Glencoe police officer, I regret never having had the chance to work with Fred. He retired before I was hired. He was the kind of guy that would stay on a stakeout on his own time just to get the bad guy. People don't do that anymore. Even though he technically doesn't fall into what's described as the greatest generation, as far as I'm concerned, he was part of the greatest generation. Once again, please accept my condolences.